Hi everyone, this is the Ask Annie podcast, Horse Girl reviews on products you use. This episode is brought to you by Neutrina. I'd highly recommend you check out the premium Safe Choice products from our friends at Neutrina Feeds. After all, Safe Choice Horse Feeds pioneered the controlled starch market to begin with. They're the right choice to keep the horses you love happy and healthy. While special nutrition technology, Top Line Balance, builds and strengthens their top line. Go ahead and visit NeutrinaWorld.com to find a dealer near you. We feature a special guest on this episode and would like to thank Jen Malachi, Dressage Today Online's content director, for being a part of this episode. Thanks for being with us, uh, Jen. Can you tell us a little bit about your horse background and life prior to Dressage Today Online? Sure. Thanks for having me. Um, Yeah, I grew up riding. My parents paid for my first 10 lessons and then after that realized that this was a hobby that they couldn't afford. So like most (laughs) kids, I became a working student um, and worked every spare minute I could for lessons. Um, So I pretty much started, I guess I've been riding for (laughs) close to 40 years now. and grew up riding um, mostly hunters uh, and all through all through school, um, all through college. And then the year I graduated college, I um, bought my first horse. I graduated in May and bought my first horse in June. So uh, it didn't take long. Um, and uh, my focus originally had been to, I wanted to go in to um, wine management. And when I was a working student at this farm in New Jersey, I spoke to a big sale barn and she said, you know, keep keep horses a hobby and, and find something else to do. And so I chose to go to school for journalism. Um, and so that's how I uh, ended up eventually at Dressage Today magazine. Um, I... Um, went to school for journalism and I had worked um, for actually an advertising agency uh, that handled a lot of equine products uh, for a number of years. I was an account executive and then went into the publishing industry outside of the equine um, world. I worked for a regional publication for a number of years in Frederick, Maryland before eventually coming back to the industry and landing uh, as an assistant editor with Dressage Today. Um, And I was with the magazine uh, for a number of years and uh, Patty Lasko was the editor. And when she left, I took over as the editor. So um, I had been with the magazine for 10 years. So, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Quite, quite a long time. And I'm sure that this experience uh, affects how you render dressage today online since you uh, the main point of dressage today's print magazine was to bring exceptional dressage content to riders um how did working on the print side uh, help you enhance the dressage today online program for sure we worked with um a ton of experts obviously on the print side of the magazine and on a lot of various different topics uh that crossed over all the different levels in dressage Um, So when I knew that I'd be taking over the content um, as content uh, director for Dressage Today Online, I I called upon a lot of the knowledge that I had from working on the magazine, the different content that we used in the magazine, the experts that we used in the magazine, um, and knew that I could pull upon all of that years of of content uh, that I could use with dressage to or for dressage today online. Um, we, the magazine, um, gosh, I think it was, it was going to be going into its 25th year. So wow. that's a ton of content that we had. Um, and so I knew that there was a lot there that I could draw upon um, and turn it into video Um, take what we have done in the magazine for all those years uh, and take what was written word and put it into video. Yeah. And, and kind of going into the next question, um, Dressage Today Online is all about video. Can you explain to us what it actually is and how it helps riders? 
Sure, sure. We, um, there is, gosh, there's more than 1700 videos on the, um, on dressage today online.com. And a lot of those videos that have been done through the years are clinic coverage with um, a lot of top experts in the sport, trainers, judges, um, and these videos are um, riders of every level. Um, mm -hmm. So subscribers can go in and the website is broken down um, by level and by, you could look by trainer, by level, by breed, by movement. Um, so riders of any level can go into the website and choose what it is they wish to see. Um, what we're doing now today, in addition to clinic coverage, we're continuing that. But what we're also looking to do with new content is have very specific training videos available to people. So um, for instance, if we have a story recently, we worked with uh, George Williams, who is the USDF president, but also, you know, a top trainer in the sport. We had done an article uh, with him years ago called the kindergarten exercises um, that helped people uh, kind of the entry level dressage rider kind of get step by step process of of what they can do to um, to work through a uh, a session in their um, with their dressage horse, and so we had this article that he had done years ago that was quite popular with folks. What we did is we went back to George, and we then turned that step by step article into a step by step video. Um, and so it's a series of videos that people can come in and watch. You know, part one, part two, part three, and get the information. It's basically a lesson in a video that they can watch and then right. go back to the barn and practice that either, you know, on their own or with their trainer. Wow, that's that's really impressive. And it sounds really beneficial for riders. And it also seems like uh, Dressage Today Online is really trying to uh, be where riders need them and uh, in a format that that's easy for riders to uh, access. How important is it to Dressage Today Online to offer so many different streaming types and uh, make the lessons more accessible for riders? That is the cool thing about Dressage Today Online is that folks can if they're home, they can watch it on their television. They can use, you know, whether it's a uh, the Roku or the Apple TV, whatever they have, they can log into their account and watch watch it right on their television screen in, at home in their living room. They also have access to use it on their laptop. So if they're traveling or, you know, are at at a location where they just have their laptop, they have it there, as well as their mobile devices. So they can log in uh, to their account on their phone or on their tablet as well. And what's really cool about the platform is that if you're watching a series of videos um, and you don't want to you don't want to go in and try and figure out where you were uh, in that lesson if you're watching, you know, a, a half an hour video, um, it will if you pause that video at home on your television and then later on you're out at the barn and you want to pick up where you left off uh, on either a tablet or your cell phone, it picks up immediately where you were. So you don't have to go searching for it, um, which is a pretty cool feature. Um, and you also have the opportunity to, um, to save it to your favorites. So you don't have to go searching you know, throughout the site, through all the videos uh, for something specific. If you want to create a list that is, you know, your favorite trainers or your favorite, favorite videos that you've watched, you have that, that ability to do that. Yeah. And really uh, allowing riders to kind of customize their own plans and, and to stay on track. Uh, that sounds really beneficial as a rider. I, I would really appreciate something like that. Another great aspect is that uh, Dressage Today Online isn't just for the elite athlete. Uh, any skilled rider can uh, access it and then train with some of the best dressage riders and trainers in the world. Uh, can you give us an overview on the topics and trainers available? 
Absolutely. Yeah, you're right. Um, you don't have to be an upper level rider to um, benefit from this site. Um, it is for riders of all levels. It's, you know, if you're just coming into dressage or, you know, you're a, um, you know, an event rider who just wants to, you know, start looking into your dressage training, there's, there's videos in there for every level. Um, we work with trainers who um, are in the States, uh, well-known trainers th such as Stefan Peters. Um, uh, we've got, um, um, George Williams in there. We've got Felicitas von Neumann Cosell, um, uh, Nicholas Fife. We've got top trainers in there. We've also got judges. Janet Foy just recently did, um, a series with us on the 2019 dressage tests where it was a clinic or a symposium that she did, but we were able to film, you know, each level. So she went, started at training level and went up all the way through, uh, fourth level discussing the various tests and the changes for, um, for the new tests and helped the riders ride through through each of the movements and gave them, you know, expert advice. So we've got folks like that on there. Um, we talk about, there's a section there for young horses. So if we have somebody that's working with young horses, they can go in and pull up information uh, about how to work with a young horse, you know, either in hand or under saddle or starting a young horse. Um, we also, the other nice thing that we have available is we are, uh, partners with USDF and we um, have a special section for USDF where if they need credits for their ongoing training, they can get that through Dressage Today online. Um, so that's another really neat feature that we offer. Wow. Yeah, that's a great resource. And mm -hmm. yeah, you, you get to work with all of these incredible riders and trainers. What is it like to, uh, to interact with the pros like that? And how do you select who and what gets featured? Sure. Yeah, it's, you know, it is a lot of fun with the magazine. Um, I, I definitely had the opportunity to work with some of these people, but typically it was remotely because we worked with a lot of writers um, who would work, uh, do the story with the trainer, or we would work through email or phone calls. And now that we're doing video, it's actually, it's quite fun for us because we get to be on site with them and collaborate with them on these videos um, that, our articles that we have done with them in the past that we are now turning into training videos. And it's a really, really neat, uh, neat experience so far. Um, we have done uh, our most recent new releases. We did a series on the training scale with Felicitas von Neumann Cosell. Um, I mentioned that we had gone back, done a story with George Williams, or I'm sorry, a video series based on uh, a story from George Williams. We have some new releases coming out um, actually uh, within the next few weeks with David Marcus and Nicholas Fife of Marcus Fife Dressage. Um, they have both been contributors to the magazine over the years. Um, and now we were able to work with them on on doing the videos as well. Uh, Suzanne Von Dietz, who is, has been a longtime contributor to Dressage Today for our clinic uh, series, which actually um, when Dressage Today magazine um, went away, some of our content was um, put into Practical Horseman magazine. And mm -hmm. the clinic series with Suzanne Von Dietz was one of those that was so well loved that Practical Horseman now has that. So we've gone ahead and done some video with Suzanne. So once again, taking what has always been the written word and putting it into video so people can actually see the trainer work with riders or actually ride. Um, I think it really helps um, give people another part of the story. You know, it's one thing to see it in words and to see still pictures, but then to put it into video where somebody can actually watch the nuances of a ride um, and hear how a trainer step-by-step -step is helping somebody through a problem or, you know, work on a new, a new movement, whether it's, you know, a Grand Prix movement or just a very basic, you know, uh, 
intro introductory dressage movement, I think it's just really beneficial to people to see it in moving pictures versus a still. Yeah, absolutely. I hope that answered the question. That was that was a great answer. And I, I know that I appreciate watching videos and, and learning from them. And it also just helps you relate a little bit more to that trainer or that rider. Um, and you're all riders at the end of the day. So I think exactly. that's really neat. You mentioned you're adding a lot of new content in the to the ever growing video library, but there's also a couple really interesting and neat uh, customer care perks that I saw on Dressage Today Online site, um, mm -hmm. especially that custom playlist. Can you kind of give us a little bit of information on that custom playlist? Yeah, um, so we have a uh, basically a concierge person who, Crystal Forsyth, who is a dressage trainer herself, um, and she is our customer care uh, person who is able to put together a custom playlist based on what a subscriber is looking for. So if you subscribe today and you're you're a first level rider and you don't have time to go through the entire library of videos that we have um, and you are working on something very specific or have a trainer that you you want to learn from we have you know everything broken down by trainer and by level if you want somebody to help guide you to very specific videos that's what can do. She can put together a very custom playlist based on your wishes and send that directly to you. So you basically, she takes care of the legwork for you um, based on your wants and needs uh, of what you're looking for. Um, so it's a pretty cool feature and Crystal is wonderful. That, that sounds awesome. I want to try that. Um, <laughs> what other what other benefits can members uh, expect when they join Dressage Day Online? We are releasing new videos every week so they can anticipate having new uh, footage every every week we offer a newsletter that folks can can sign up for which uh addresses the new releases and in addition to that it gives it provides uh archive of all the articles that we've done over the 25 years almost 25 years that we were being published we have all those articles available um to uh to subscribers. And so each week when we do the newsletter, which releases the new video series, whatever, whichever series it is, we also tie in some of the articles that we have done, not only in the past, but articles that we are continuing to create because we're continuing to, to still create new content. Um, so we are providing subscribers with that content in the written word as well as a video and they'll start to see you know what we are doing is combining um the connection we're making the connection between the video and the written articles so people can get a real full look at a specific movement or a specific level or whatever it is that we're releasing that week uh in addition we send out another release on fridays we kind of go back into our video archives and we kind of do like a flashback Friday and pull from some of the really um, fun videos that have been really popular on Dressage Day Online over the years. So it's pulling up old older footage that might have, you know, been forgotten or, you know, somebody hasn't seen that's new to Dressage Today Online. Um, we're we're re-releasing those, those videos as well. And, you know, if there's anything that anybody ever wants to learn about or has questions or if they want to see something, uh, a different trainer or something that we haven't done uh, on the site, we are always open to suggestions. So folks can either contact Crystal or certainly contact me directly if they have any thoughts on what they'd like to see. We're definitely open to that. We have a really vibrant um, social media presence as well, you know, on Facebook and Instagram. So we connect with people there um, and love to hear from people about what they want to see. Can you give us any insight on who or what topics might be coming next for Dressage Today Online? We have already 
already done some filming. Um, I believe I had mentioned earlier with Nicholas Fife, David Marcus. We have a, a bunch of new stuff from Suzanne Von Dietz that we're going to be releasing in the coming months. Um, we also are going to be working with uh, Charles DeConfi. Um, he's going to be doing a clinic. He's going to be new to the site too. We don't have any footage or any coverage uh, from Charles. So he has agreed to work with us and, and we're going to be doing some filming um, of some of his clinics. So we're really excited about that. Another new um, person coming to the site, we are going to be filming uh, Dorothy Schneider. She's a German Olympian who is going to be doing her very first symposium in the United States in October, and we will be covering that. So that will be coming uh, soon as well. We're going to be doing a bidding video um, in the coming months. And we're also working with uh, Beth Baumert, who was Dressage Today's technical editor for years and years. Um, she has published a book and we are going to be doing some of, putting some of her book into um, into video. So that's really excited. We've started um, filming some of that with Beth um, over when we were down in Florida this past winter and we're going to be continuing that as well. We have some we have some really exciting things lined up. Yeah, I'll say quite the full plate. It's it's really cool though and and yeah, keeping it relevant and keeping adding new content is is ideal. So that's all I have. Jen, was there uh, anything else that you wanted to talk about? I don't think so. I'm just really excited to be part of your podcast and I hope that people will come come check us out. Um, we're really excited about all the new content and just love to hear from people. So thank you so much. Thanks for tuning in. Learn more about the Ask Annie podcast by following us on Facebook and Instagram at Ask Annie Podcast. Have a suggestion for a product you'd like me to use in an upcoming episode? Email me at askanniepodcast at gmail.com or leave a comment on any of our social media pages. Find even more Ask Annie episodes anywhere you listen to podcasts, including Spotify, Apple Podcasts, YouTube, and many more. The Ask Annie Podcast is a production of Equine Podcast Network, an entity of Active Interest Media and the Equine Network.